Hey, hello everybody. Um, in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to put together your, your wire project, okay? Um, I should have a block for you. Um, there should be two holes that are drilled out. Um, either myself or my tears will do that for you. And also we should have a coat hanger um, that already has the top part cut off. Um, and this is, becomes the bulk of your project. If you feel like this is too small, um, I do have um, longer wire um, that if maybe if you wanna do more of a larger design, you know, kind of thing versus with this, just say, say something and we can get you something different, okay? Um, but what I'm gonna do, uh, first off, I'm gonna grab one of my pairs of pliers, um, just use your needle nose that you have. Um, we do wanna bend this so it goes inside one of these holes. So I'm gonna kind of flatten this part out, maybe you can zoom in here. And then I'm going to go up, remember your block is about this thick, okay? So you can, you don't wanna go quite that much because you don't want parts sticking out. You definitely want to have this go into the block itself pretty good. So I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing. So now both of these should be able to fit inside of this area. So I'm going to reposition the camera so you can look down here. Okay, now that we can see this a little bit better, I'm going to put this one end here. It should slide in. Hopefully it's a little hard to get in because it'll stick a little bit better. Um, and then this one will also be going in. Okay, so I do not have this drilled all the way down, so it is sticking up a little bit. I do have our hot glue gun uh, warming up because we'll be adding that here in just um, a few, like about a minute or so. So right now you have to decide on your shape. So when you do this, you got to think of, you know, sculpture is meant to be seen from all sides. Okay, so you got to figure out, you know, does it look good from this direction? Does it look good from this direction? Does it look good from this direction? And what is my idea? You know, sometimes you want to go in saying, well, I would like to reproduce this painting of Edward Munch in the Scream. How would I make that look on here in a three-dimensional kind of a scene? Um, or maybe I want to do like a landscape and I want to try to figure out how that would look, you know, how I could work on this curve. Um, or, you know, you could do an underwater scene or you could do, a, you know, really small shapes that are abstract and how would that relate to whatever shape you've already kind of created. So a lot of times you can take this off because um, sometimes it's easier to work with it that way. And you just start kind of bending and manipulating it. Um, you can always use this to get some sharper edges. You can bend this piece down. And then maybe I could take this, bend this this way, maybe even kind of curl it up a little bit. And I'm gonna just put these back in and just see what I got, because it looks different once this is kind of set in place. If you do want me to drill these holes down farther, I can absolutely do that. And now I have them crossing. We usually do run into issues with that, so I wanna make sure that they're not crossed. If you don't wanna follow that rule, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to, but you'll see what I'm kinda of talking about. Now I have this shape. And I can just, you want to spend some time kind of playing around with this, really trying to see if there's anything that you like, you know. So I have this and I'm thinking, well, that might look kind of interesting. So I do want to set these in. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun, pull this back out again. I'm going to kind of fill the inside of this with hot glue. Press this back inside of there. Same thing. Put hot glue in there. And then work that in. And again, nice thing about hot glue is just give it less than a minute and it's pretty secure. Okay, next I'm gonna get one of these uh, leggings. These are just knee high, so they're not real big. If you did wanna do a larger one, um, I'll have to get something bigger. Um, and that's fine. We can just kind of work with what your ideas are. Let me slide this around. Bring this all the way down the side so you completely cover up the bottom of this. So your thing looks like this. Right here is kind of the opening. We'll eventually cut that off so this will kind of be more stable. It's a little bumpy like that right now. And I look at this and I start deciding, it's like, is this look good? Um, one thing I want to try to look for is this is where your seam line is at. Do your best to try to keep that 
along one of these um, lines here of the wire. It just looks better in the end. Um, it's a way to kind of hide that. Um, sometimes it's really easy to do, sometimes it's not. Make sure I don't have any wrinkles in here at all. Make sure it's nice and clean. And if you are ready for that, then you're ready to paint it, okay? Um, here's a, an example of one that definitely had a, a more of a, a legging. Um, uh, it was one of, one of my daughters. Um, I think it had a hole, it had like a, a tear or a rip in here. But it's, it's good enough just kind of for this demonstration. This was much larger, okay? This is just a, if you can kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, you know, this was just a coat hanger. This is one of the ones I was kind of talking about that if you wanted me to give you a longer piece of wire, you know, we can, we can get you a different kind of a legging um, that, that will fit that, okay? Um, you just kind of decide, you know, do I, do I like, this, like this look? Do I want to have it longer now? Do I have a better idea? Um, obviously, this would be more time, you know, because you have much more of an area to cut out. But if you have an intricate idea, you know, with smaller paintings or something like that, this might be a good idea just kind of for time's sake, you know, and if you're really excited about an idea, again, this is something else. Um, next, we're gonna um, get the paint out and we're gonna paint this up. Okay, now that I'm ready to paint, um, I want you to see that I do have newspaper down. Um, I do have a painting cup right here. A lot of times we'll have these pre-made up, sometimes we don't. Um, so you'll just grab um, some regular paint, uh, which is called gesso paint, and you will just kind of fill this up. It makes it a lot easier to paint this, okay? Um, and just, I mean, obviously don't put more in here than you need because after this, we can either throw this away um, if it's kind of bad or, or, or whatnot. So just take what you need to do is come back and get more. Um, I also have a brush. Oh, here it is. So now I have my brush in my hand. I also have brushes that are like this. You know, the kind of the bigger it is, most of the time it's better, but if you get like a super wide one, obviously it won't work as well trying to get in some spots. Um, I also have a painting apron. Uh, these are in the other room where all the paints are at on the wall. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I get, get one of these on, just so I don't get paint all over myself. Um, pay attention to the art meme right here. Um, every one of them is different, so you can find one that you like. And just, this paint doesn't come out of clothing very easily. So most of the time people put aprons on after they get paint on their clothes, which defeats the purpose of putting an apron on. So I would try to put it on before that happens. Um, so I'm all set. I'm gonna switch this over to time elapse. I'm gonna put a coat of paint on here and then kind of talk to you about that when I'm after done. Thanks. And now that I have it all painted, um, I put like a coat and a half on there. I, I try not to put, you don't want to put a thick coat on because you can get all these, these dribblings all over the place. Um, so you kind of have to put like a thin coat on and then you can kind of go back and then put another thin coat on areas you feel like need it. Um, an area that might need it is if it has all these like pin prick holes around there, uh, you're never going to get all of them. So don't, don't drive yourself nuts trying to get all of them. Uh, but you want to kind of get the big areas. Um, I also, I mean, obviously you're going to get some paint on you because, you know, I was holding it at some point around the base. Um, it is tilted because once this is all dry, this paint will act like a glue. That's where we're going to cut off an X-Acto knife, the, the bottom, the very bottom part of it, um, and it'll, it'll lay down flat. But I, I just want to make sure two things. One, you know, before you paint it, make sure you're okay with the shape because you're not going to try bending it when the paint is all wet. Okay, that's just kind of dumb. So, so make sure you're okay with that. Um, second thing is, is again, turn the entire thing around and just make sure you have everything painted. Again, I can kind of see my seam line behind, like right here, but it's not real noticeable because I did my best to try to make sure it followed this. I do see some paint dribbling down right now. So obviously I put too much on. So I can just come in, grab that paint, and I can just get it on my newspaper here. If it's a lot, you can just kind of sweep off to the side but I'm probably just gonna go along the side here and try to peel some of that paint off. So you kind of wanna babysit it if you can uh, for a little bit to make sure you don't have those, those, those droppings um, that you have to deal with. You know, I painted around the whole side. Um, if you miss a spot, it's not, it's not that big a deal because we paint everything white because your colors are brighter, okay? Everything is gonna get painted again. Even if you have an area that you want white, I want you to repaint that area again with, with different paint that we have over there. Um, so, so it's okay if this is not a perfect job. 
Um, you just make sure there's no wrinkles. You wanna make sure you got most of it, you know, and, and make sure you don't have those, those droppings um, that I'm, I'm finding on myself. So I put a little too much on. Um, after this, you know, do your best job to pick this up, um, set it on your, I might have an area because these will not fit inside your cubbies. So I'll, I'll tell you where I want these sitting so they can dry. Um, and then after it's dry, you're, you're pretty good. You know, make sure you wash your brush out good. Um, I believe we've gone over that, but just a quick reminder, you know, put a little soap in your palm of your hand. Well, rinse this off the best you can first, then put some soap in your hand, really push that in and swivel around. You'll see it getting white again, because a lot of the paint people miss is, is on the bottom here above this red part, or the metal part, which is called the ferrule. Um, and we want to get that, okay? So do a good job, clean that for about a minute, um, and then you're good. Everything else gets put away. If you feel like this is uh, used up pretty good, um, and the cap doesn't really fit on here any well, just toss it. Otherwise, um, put it back so somebody else can use it. Um, this, because it has paint on it, is no longer recyclable, so throw that out, and, and then we're ready um, to kind of talk about the next step on the project, okay? Hello, everybody. Um, in this video, I wanna go over how to begin applying a design onto your project, okay? Um, so this is an example. Um, this is not the one that I demonstrated earlier. Um, it was a, a different example I did a while ago, um, but it'd be one to kind of work with. And also kind of emphasize that there are many ways that, that this would end up looking. Um, so thinking about, hopefully you already have an idea. Um, and sometimes those ideas change because all of a sudden before making this, it's like, well, I really want to do this. And then you look at it, it's like, oh, that doesn't even fit. So that's not, that wouldn't even work for an idea. Um, so maybe you look at this and you see almost like a chair-like. So then you would decide, well, maybe I want to do like an inside of a house, you know, or even like a multi-level house and each level being like, like a snapshot of what it would look like inside of that room. Endless ideas, okay. Um, if you really struggle, talk to a friend. Um, if you have no friends, you can talk to me um, and then we can try to come up with something if, if nothing's working. Um, on occasion, sometimes um, these, will, these will ripple um, a little bit too much if, if, you're, um, if you apply too much paint or you didn't pull your, um, the, 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 that legging tight enough and you might wanna redo it. Uh, sometimes taking a day and redoing something is better than suffering if you're for multiple days. So, so it's okay um, if you don't like the way it looks or it's like that's not what it was supposed to look like and you wanna try it again, um, that's fine, we can come up with something. Um, so notice that we have this as an opening. First, I'm gonna cut this off. I have a pair of scissors that I can use. Um, I also have, this is just a razor blade, but your exacto blade would be the fine. You know, if I just wanna use a pair of scissors, I can just kind of come inside of here, cut that, and just kind of go around, and just cut all this off. You know, or I could just take my razor blade, my exacto blade, and go around this whole thing And that's done. And now it should sit up, you know, pretty, pretty well. Okay, as, as, as it's, not, it's, not, it's not, you know, off balance. You know, if this was really on this side, it was falling over, then again, when you're part of your grade is your, it's how stable it is. So because this is dry, you can start bending this um, quite a bit more, you know, to, to try to reemphasize things. You can't really pull out like this, like you could when it was like in a different form. Um, but you, and I wouldn't, I'd be very careful about pulling it together because you're gonna create those wrinkles again. Okay, um, so it's more about just slight tweaking uh, of bending around that you might be able to, but again, that just really runs the risk of everything being wrinkled. Okay, now that I have this and I don't see any other issues with it, this is when you can take your pencil. I'm not gonna draw anything on here per se, but you would just go in and start drawing your design out, you know, and spending a day doing that. Um, once that's all set, um, I'll show you in class, we'll get some brushes because every sink has different sets of brushes, both in our 3D lab and our 2D lab. Um, and, and you'll have a paint palette um, if you want to mix colors. Otherwise, we have all, all of our colors in these little, these little cups. Um, and I'll show you that in class as well. Okay. Um, in terms of painting it, you know, do your best to save black for last. I know everybody wants to outline everything first in black and then color it. But black co covers up your colors. 
So once you have your pencil lines drawn and you want to outline everything in black, which usually looks really good, um, do your colors first. And then you can go in, because a lot of times the, the paint is a little on the thinner side, you can still see that pencil line. And you can go in and give yourself a nice clean line and it will, it will make everything look so much better, okay? So black is a fantastic color. Do it last, okay? Um, your project will look, um, will look a lot nicer and hopefully get that, that A you're probably going for. Um, other than that, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck on this. Um, I'm excited for you. Um, hopefully you have a good idea. And um, if you're struggling, just, just talk to me, okay? I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. And good luck.